a paired samples t-test in SPSS. Did the willingness to donate change over the course of the campaign? We have willingness measured at the campaign start and at the campaign end. If the average level of willingness changes between the pre and post measurement, then probably that will be an effect of the exposure to the campaign. Now we can analyze repeated measurement like this in SPSS with a paired samples t-test, which is in the compare means menu. For a paired samples t-test, we only have to select the two variables that are paired, the pre and post measurement. I recommend to have the post measurement as the first variable and the pre measurement as the second one because the second one is being subtracted from the first, as we will see in the output later. Options. We can set the confidence interval, but 95% confidence level is OK. We can bootstrap, but we won't do that. So let's paste and run the command. Now we get a lot of output. First of all, we get the mean scores for the two measurements. The first one is at the end of the campaign, the second one is at the start. As we can see, there is a slight increase in the willingness from, say, 4.5 to 4.6. A sample contains 143 observations. That's well over 30. So we meet the assumptions for using the T distribution as a theoretical probability distribution. Now, let's go to the test results. First of all, we get the mean difference, which is indeed small, 0.1 between the pre and post measurement with a standard deviation and an error, and more importantly, a confidence interval. With 95% confidence, the difference between the post and pre test is between 0.08 and 0.70. Well, that's not too much on the 10-point scale. But the test result is significant. T-value 5.7 with 142 degrees of freedom and the P-value well below 0.05. So we can reject the null hypothesis that the pre and post measurements have the same average scores in the population. Now note that the mean difference is positive here because the first variable, post-treatment, is larger than the second variable, the pre-measurement. 